Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus. With me, Greg and Don. I'm near the port, watching the main road. Got that six feet. Nothing serious so far, but some backup would be welcome. <laughs> Alright. Copy that, Don. Forwarding your coordinates to our scouts. I know they're done talking, I can tell you what happened. So... I've done a fair bit of exploring off camera. Um, I recorded for about 21 minutes earlier, and then I died. Um, so if you look at the map here, that northwesternmost area, it looks like there's like a water symbol. I went into that canyon. Um, that looks like there's a path I can take, but I can't take it yet. I think there's a, probably going to be a quest there later. Uh, and then uh, if you try to approach that square that's even more north of that, uh, someone will tell you to stop. And if you don't, they start throwing a bunch of grenades at you. I think there was like volleys of three or four grenades. I dodged a few of them, but in this difficulty it only takes like one to uh, one to kill me. So anyway, so a staple in the Metro games, you can find these hookahs laying around. So it's like a it's like a barrel uh, drum for the bastard right there. Uh, you can find these hookahs. You can activate them, and uh, sometimes there's achievements associated with them. <laughs> this one just seems to be an Easter egg. <coughs> It's a dark one. All right. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the van. We're gonna head west. We're gonna go explore that question mark. I've been there a couple times off camera already. I just keep dying because I kept trying to make it to that. Uh, I'm gonna call it a fortress. I don't know if that's what it is or not, but uh, yeah, that area to the north of it. Then we'll explore the canyon. Um, someone told me in the comment section just today, actually, that uh, if I go back to the spider ship that. I covered a few episodes ago. There might be a uh, NPC there that we can interact with. I went there once off camera. He wasn't there, but I'm gonna try it again at nighttime. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Whoa. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. So, people, I heard a radio chat with the boss of that train gang, and I don't even know what to say. For starters, that boss. He's an honest to goodness corner. And he's not gonna join right here. Oh no. He's been sent here on a mission by the Supreme Command. He was rather vague on this specific. Though he says his mission is secret. And if you think this is all there is, you are gravely mistaken. Can you imagine where this colonel is hailing from? Straight from Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> this has been such a long time since I had such a laugh. But that isn't even all. This cloud was our water. Fuel and the right of passage. He's a reasonable man, ain't he? Oh, oh, and in return, the Supreme Command is sure to reward us later. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I heard such bullshit before. I don't know who is this girl, and who told him we are all complete morons here. But we cannot really let this slide. So, here's what we are going to do. Whoever brings the last train gang member to me will be rich. I'm just so curious to see a guest from Moscow. <laughs> As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. All right, so the past few times there's been some of those humanimals here. Uh, then I shut up. Oh, there they are. Huh. There we go. Um, where is it at? Oh, here it is. Oh, I was lucky. Whew. Thank you. Oh. Last time I stealth killed, or yeah, I stealth killed most of these guys. It wasn't non-lethal. I was stabbing them in the throat and slashing their chests. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the canyon. There's a bunch of loot in the canyon. Uh, but I'll show you what I mean. I think there's a mission there. If you keep going north there, there's some towers with some enemies in there. You can take them out, and then uh, if you keep going, there'll be a guy like, "Who are you?" 
stop there, and then if you don't, um, they just start throwing a bunch of grenades at you, which is pretty awful. And the worst part is, I think the grenades even get you. There's a ship you can run into. They even hit you uh, inside the ship. It's it's not great. All right, so there's some of these uh, human animals here. That was weird. Oh, this isn't going well. There we go. Past couple of times I get to carry all those guys in one shot, so I'm not super ecstatic about how it's working out this time. Oh, I didn't see this case though last time. Good. New stuff to find. I'm all about it. That was pretty thorough. I guess I could have missed a few things. <laughs> yeah, because there's a cave over there that I can't get inside of, but if you look in there, it looks like there's a, uh, there's a path forward. Also, I can't get up there yet. Right. Take care of that guy. The gun looks a little weird right now. Is it like they? It's really clean, and like the graphics haven't fully loaded in for the gun. For the C car. Oh, right, and there's a diary that's on top of this uh, radio here as well. So let's read that. Letter to the artist. And the dear, this baron is taking us for fools. Have you read the leaflets his flunkies heaped at all the entrances? You call yourself free people, but your leaders, superiors, and in fact owners crammed you all into caves and would have their stones fall on your heads rather than let you receive the blessing of the holy flame. He's ripping the revelation off and thinks we're none the wiser. Never asking me what is an artist to do after the doomsday? I couldn't give you any advice back then, but now I have an idea. Paint a reply to this dog. Paint it so everyone can, could see what was, what is yet to be, and why we will never surrender. Paint to make souls see. I know you can. Always your friend, Arson. It was the guy that uh, took his own life. And that uh, one cave that uh, gave us the reinforced goggles, I believe. But you can go up here. Um, you can crawl through here. It makes me think there's going to be enemies here later because there's like a stealth option. And this is where the ramp system starts and I can't get up there. But if you look up there, there's a bunch of ramps and stuff. And um, up here you can actually look into this cave. I don't, it doesn't necessarily look like you can explore in there. Um, there's definitely like a whole cave system back there, a whole city or village. This is the uh, the path I was talking about. I'm not sure where this guy's head is at. <clears throat> Alright, that wasn't super ideal. I don't know really where his head is at. There we go. I guess that was it. Um, sure. But yeah. If I go over here, he can't climb up it yet. I'm assuming I come here later with like a, uh, a companion. Because also I can't get into that other place further north. Or I guess it's a little northeast. A little north northeast. Can't talk. From here, so. We're just gonna head back to the spider ship, see if I can't see that NPC. I'm actually gonna wait until nighttime. Because uh, I was told that the other guy saw him at night. I still don't want to miss anything for you guys. So I know y'all want to see everything the game has to offer. I 
Also, sorry for the late upload today because the uh, I had re tried to record twice, and both times it was about 20 minutes, 21 minutes I had recorded, and then the uh, I died trying to get into that place back there. My auto save was 21 minutes or previous. So. The downside to playing on Ranger Hardcore. One of many. So I actually think that the uh, the ship has like a safe house bed. I'm gonna just rest here. Van on the other side here. I'm gonna take your old nappy nap. Whoop. I don't remember which way I'm supposed to rest. This is the right way. Yep. Sweet. Mm. Who the fuck just made that noise over there? Uh oh. Fuck. I gotta go check on these. I wish you could just get back home. <laughs> Why are there bandits here now? <laughs> oh, this is uh safe. Or sorry, not safe. Uh, ammo, ammo can. Um. That's weird. <laughs> All right, let's head towards the uh, the spider ship again. Let's check it out, and we'll head towards the Aurora. Aurora, so that's where we're supposed to go next. It most assuredly is. Hold on. This is supposed to be oil. I want to try something out real quick. It didn't work. I wonder if, if I throw a Molotov in there. I should make some of these. Which I can't make any of. I wonder if it catches it on fire. I mean, if, I guess if the regular pipe bomb doesn't work, I don't see why the uh, Molotov would. All right, and on. Ship was past this bridge, or was it on this side of the bridge? It's right there. Okay. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. We live in interesting times, gentlemen. During the last sandstorm, somebody wiped off post in the ruins. Judging by the time, it's that train guy. I did call them out on it, but they just denied everything. Is, some boys saw them driving a car our people at the post time. These newcomers are total loose cannons, so you must stay alert. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. So I wonder if uh, the van is actually faster over some of this terrain. Yeah, see, because that, that was on fire. 
right? I actually looked up a video of uh, the NPC here, so I know the guy wasn't pulling my leg. It's a, uh, I think he's called a hermit. I don't know what the interaction is though. I just made sure. I confirmed that it was a it was a thing. And it sure is. <laughs> sure as heck is. If I could remember how to get up here. Yeah, there's a guy sitting in there. Okay, I found him. So for me, it was nighttime. For the guy that told me about him, it was nighttime. Fuck, don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot, man. Uh, but the guy that I watched, it was actually an ESO video. The guy that covers uh, Skyrim and stuff. It was daytime for him. I don't know. Not gonna do anything? I guess not. Can I do anything with you? No? Well there you go. There you have it. There's a uh there's an NPC here. That was super uneventful. Oh neat. There's also a ladder. Well there you have it everybody. Hope y'all are super impressed. See, I'm normally fine playing a game for the first time, it's not a big deal. But when I discover that I'm, I missed something, I tend to obsess over it until, uh... Until I, I find it. Ignorance is bliss. Alright. I think I'll wait around till daytime. I had it. I forgot about the bed in there. Oh well. I think there's a uh, safe house on the way back, right? There is not. Not a big deal. I'll go talk to Anna. <laughs> or, uh, Miller. Whoever I was just talked to. Anna was the one that initially came on the radio, so. I also found out earlier that if you fall from a uh, certain height in the van, you will you will die. So keep that in mind as well. Kind of nice if you cleared out their nests or whatever, they would just stay gone. Oh yeah, shit. I also have that thing I can give to the uh, little girl Nastia, I think is her name. That uh, Giol gave me for finding that picture. I think I get a reward for that. Man, this is rough. All right, here we go. Finally on the road again. Let's go. I don't know if y'all see that, but the uh, light is coming through the uh, the cliffside there. A little off putting. Uh oh. 
I need to get inside. Come on, come on inside. Alright, so that's another scripted storm. It's Uncle Artyom. Go back to sleep, darling. I have a thing for you though. Wake up. Uncle Artyom? <sighs> I wanted to ask him. Shh, don't get up yet. Uncle Artyom has to talk to the corner first. Alright, Miller, over and off. You got them? Great job, Artyom. Well, thank you. Great news! Our team got the maps! Well done, I too. Idiot, get started with these. I'll join you later. Here, there's a lot Give of a data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror gone to the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Artyom, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. All right. I'm all about Good it. luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Yeah, I Christ. know. How's the weather? Grand Bayerma. There we go. Uncle Artyom, is this for me? Perfect. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Artyom, Look, come here. Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Artyom, while you were out, I finished making well, one more thing for the tea house. The workbench is at your service. Yeah, so, did you try the new ammo out? Wow, Should work great with you. all this oil around. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them. Alright, mm -hmm. so we have a new upgrade for this car. I'm all, Mom, I'm all about that as well. Automatic pneumatic system. What have you got, idiot? Automatic what system constantly add air pressure when pressure is below normal level. You can still use hand pump. Okay. Got it all figured out. What do we got sure here? Seems so. Ooh, heavy grip. Radiation levels are plotted in color. Just a straight upgrade. I don't know what the. Why would you ever use the uh, have the, radiation level the lower here. variants? I guess it's just all straight upgrades. Where is it from? The Shambler. Yeah, a bit old. I kind of see the bastards well, let's upgrades. Hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Oh, so I know this is the Which valve. Okay, so heavy stock, heavy barrel, Central long barrel. Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals. The European part of the country. Aha, I see. Hmm. I need upgrades no for that. East. Weird. Uh, I feel I like ammo is going to be too here. pricey Either for that. Where's the bastard at? The or, oh, the bulldog. Area. That or, might be an upgrade to the. Uh, or somebody snatched all the maps of the east before us. So our damage is, if that is the six case, with this. They still left plenty for us. Where should we look, Colonel Sir? So the bulldog is usually an upgrade for the uh, they were assault rifle. Targets. Still, going for the deepest end of nowhere isn't too attractive either. So I'm gonna take that instead of the assault rifle. I'm gonna bring my shotgun instead of this. So this place seems clean. Okay, it's just what can I put no on the Gatling? Wonder. It's just a step. Not a whole lot. Okay. What if we go north? Yeah, the bastard. I got the uh, north. Uh, no good. See. Extended magazine and then the high capacity here. magazine. Should have gone milder after twenty years, but a I still wouldn't advise a prolonged stay there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm still gonna bring the, uh, the shotgun here. Uh, where is it? At? Check this railroad out. It's most probably the one we're going to use. I was bringing the close reflex sight, I guess. Yeah, that should be fine. Yes, it Red does look like the only way out for us now. All right. And that is Let's why go. we should study it in as much detail as we can. Oh, hold on. Let's interact with some people. See if they have anything to say. What if we take this fork? A lake, a river. Radiation's not too high either. Artyom, thanks for coming by to see the guys. You're welcome. I'm totally powerless here, and it hurts. 
Stepan could never handle hot weather, but here without water, he never even said a word until he collapsed. Where is Stepan at? Alyosha and Duke are down too. Hello, Artem. Yeah, so Alyosha, Any Duke. News about the water? He's Alyosha, I think. Duke is. They just need some water, and I can't Oh, that's help Stefan. I just can't see his facial hair, right? Sure. Uh, so what do you think of our situation, Artyom? Not so good, huh? Now, besides, we had guests too. Gave them our best welcome, naturally. The beast ran straight into Stepan with his mint grinder, and he just minced them. We rushed out, but only saw the bodies. One of the bodies, blood, was Stepan's. Now, at first, I thought the bastards got him. Nah, he didn't even have a scratch on him. It was a freaking heat stroke. He's down in the station building now, resting. The rest of the guys are not in a great shape either, so... If those oil bandits decide to put real pressure on us... We are screwed. And they may just do that because I think that Guild Lady is trying to use us as a piece in her own game, Bullet. Having us take those bandits out would play right into her hand. Though if we are all out from dehydration by the time they arrive, that plan will backfire big time. The colonel ordered that water is to be only given to the sick and those on patrol doesn't drink at all himself. So he's cooped up inside and there is no getting him out. He says he's too weak. It might hurt the morale if people see him like that, you know? As if the morale could get any worse with no water at all. It got so bad, Yermak decided to try and condense some from the air. It's goddamn desert, blin. Some use That's so why you need uh, moisture farmers. We need water and fuel, badly. And we need a hell of a lot of both. With Aurora turning over two tons of water into steam per hour, her appetite for fuel is also nothing to sneeze at. We're up a shit creek here, and we'd better find a paddle soon, you know? Or else we ain't gonna come out smelling like fucking roses. I saw it was right. Well, we have to go back up there for the, the quest. At least. But we can explore to the east first and see what uh what awaits us there. We have all those mark markings on our map. So that is our primary objective. Head east, do some exploration, and then uh, back up northwest. Let's hope I don't accidentally trigger another quest. And, uh... Well, I don't think I can skip the water gathering. It sounds pretty, pretty essential. This is like a bandit camp already. Listen up, everyone! The bad no, 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 no. Peace off! Sure, sure, sure. I don't, I don't want everyone. Let's get what have some shit. Then, after to tomorrow. It's just piece of shit. Coronavirus. Kyle. <laughs> yes, it's shame that I want. So that one, that comic would do too. Yes, you'll do. You. The asshole driving around in our car, killing my boys. You motherfucker, listen to me. So you keep driving around looking at how we live. So how... How do you find me? You probably think that we are tyrants. Beasts even. And you are some kind of hero, are you, huh? Liberating the oppressed with that you, the witch. But I see you are not a complete idiot. So you do understand, deep down. You do understand. Crap. <laughs> Son of a gun, there's two of them that hit me at once. I was trying to get into like a choke point so they'd have to like funnel themselves towards me. So I can take one more hit and then the third hit. That's what got me, and two of them hit me at once from the uh, left hand side there. Oh, son of a gun. Alright. That's fine, that's fine. Those things are the uh, hardest enemy in the game, just because there's so many of them. And since it only takes two or three hits for them to kill me, it gets, it gets real nasty real quick.
absolutely cannot stand those guys. Might be some loot in these cars here. Oh well. We get back to where I was. Try to find another safe house. Killed a lot of you guys. So you keep driving around looking at how we live. So oh. how how do you find it? You probably think that we are dying. Beast even. And you are some kind of hero, are you, huh? Liberating the oppressed with that you, the witch. But I see you are not the complete. It's by another uh Most out ammo for this. That's not good. Look, guys, I'm just trying to. Get off of me. God, I hate these things so much. Alright, good. It's discovered. Let's get out of here. Hey, guess what? You know what? I am glad there aren't any librarians in this game, though. I might have uh, these little small things I have to contend with, but at least there aren't librarians. Those things have those things put me on edge. Oh jeez. Well, that wasn't super fun. Way more of those than I would have liked. What's the way to get up here? It's like a pretty elaborate area. Kind of prefer if it was daytime right now. By kind of, I mean I would definitely prefer if it was daytime right now. Is there a way to get in here? There's gotta be loot here, right? I guess it doesn't have to be. Oh, there's a shack right here. <laughs> Alright, well. I should have made some ammunition while I was at the workbench back at the Aurora. 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 Who do you think you're fooling? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You can do whatever a spider can. Oh. That's, I thought I had throwing knives equipped. Oh, well, hey, if it works, it works. But I have so much shotgun in the edition. I really like the, uh, the echo of the shot. Also, this motion detector comes in real handy. Alright. 
Kelly me intrigued. There's gonna be something up here, right? There's a crane there. Light on in the crane. Okay. Let's see if we can head up there. We'll drop down here. Oh, well, he's got bullet shells on his arm. Or shotgun shells, sorry. Be careful. That sniper doesn't seem to be an amateur. Sniper? I see him. Just a moment. Oh! What? <laughs> okay, so there's a sniper on the uh, on the crane. Good to know. I guess Anna will take him out for me if I distract him. Which it's gonna be rough because it looks like he kills me in one shot. <laughs> All right. Well, then we call the episode here. Next episode, we'll try to take care of the sniper on the crane. I don't think we got a lot done here. Well, hold on. Let's let's try the sniper one more time. The episode will be a little longer. I make up for uploading late. I uh, do want to get back. Pick up up top and uh, grab that stuff. You never know, one of the attachments might be unique or something. Who doesn't like unique attachments? See, I didn't see the sniper though. I'd be okay with shooting him if I saw him. I should grab my, uh, well, this actually doesn't have a, uh, actual range scope on it, so that could be a problem. Be careful. That sniper doesn't seem to be an amateur. I see him. Just a moment. Take out his light. If she wants to take him out, that'd be... Oh, I see him. This thing takes forever to reload. Okay, well, they offer me plenty of cover, so I'd probably just charge them down. Oh, come on. I didn't even... Alright, that was that was embarrassing at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Next episode, we'll assault that crane. We'll take care of the crane. It'll be great. I hope. I'll wait for it to finish loading in. Ugh, oh, man. Actually, you know what? I didn't check to see if I was recording. I hope I recorded this. <laughs> that would be awful. <laughs>
I finally made some progress, and then it, uh... Alright. Yeah, call it here. Next episode, uh, we'll grab that stuff up there again, and then we'll take care of that crane and the sniper on there. Thanks for watching. Hope to see y'all in the next episode.